people, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the final episode of Adventure Forward. The bonus levels. I did have a, I did have a recording of me doing like other um worlds, but I accidentally deleted it right now. I lost my video. It was on Stone Corridor, and there's another one I did, but I can't recall which one. I think it's the Alpha Base where they have the power. Web, but I'll do that on my second channel, just like a quick speed run of it. Anyways. I haven't done these yet. And we're gonna do this, and I've heard it's really, really hard. Actually, this one won't be painful, but let's go for this. This is some intense music. Why is this so intense? So. Uh oh. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. So I have to wait till the black. Or so until I can like uh step on it because if I step while it's hot then that's bad. I'm gonna butt my feet. So let's see if, if I'm able to like spot the coins because let's just say I oh well oh I thought those were coins it's right up there but it's red so I mean everything's red not the coins I mean the coins are red uh what am I saying? I don't make sense, yeah, I'm sorry. But there's a switch right here, and I believe if you touch it, it'll become cool. Let's see what happens. I definitely think that's the. Oh! Coin is frozen though. Well, switch! Because I need that coin over there. Oh my god, what's going on? Ah! 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 Why is there so much stuff going on? Ah! Help! This is chaotic! Ow. I failed. Horribly. But oh my goodness, this is pretty much heck. And the coin's frozen, so I'll have to find a way to get it back. Ah! Ow. I just realized something. I can't climb this up because it's frozen. So, how do I. Oh my. Help! Help! Elf! What am I doing? Ah ha 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 ha! Maybe I have to do some tech. Neek. Okay, well, this is. I see why people say this is really hard. It requires a lot of problem solving and like puzzles to go through. I switched the switch! And it's hot! And I'm looking back there like, how am I supposed to get that coin? Probably I'm supposed to do some other technique. So holy cow, I don't even know what's going on. Ah! Oh no, 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 get out of here, I don't need you, why do you exist in the first place? Oh, okay. This is exciting. Okay, I'm getting out of here. here. Ugh, I'm gonna push him into lava. Whoa! Okay, you wanna go? Ow. Ow. I went too early. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on. I don't even know if I'm getting gonna like, go anywhere with this. This is really confusing. I'm not even joking, okay? Ah! It's falling! Okay. Jump rope. Got the coin. Now what? Should I switch back or holy cow? Okay. Ow. Uh uh. My oh shoot. Oh look what I have to go through I have to go through more of these guys. Ah, you wanna go? You wanna go? Ag! Ow. Okay, that was kind of weird. Ugh. Okay. Oh no 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 no! Shoo 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 shoo! Go away! Go go go! Ah! No! Oh god! I went overboard. Ouch! Oh my god! Help! 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 Ah! Ugh. I'll get at least one down. I'll get one down. Let's see if I can get this guy. Okay, he's gone. Good, thanks a lot. There's a coin up here. 
Oh my god. Okay, oh. Okay! Well! Oh, there's a coin, but it's frozen. Ouch. That's gonna hurt, see? Ah, ow. I wonder if I could like switch it back. I could switch it back to hot and get it, but... Yeah, I think getting the red coins is just is gonna be harder than I thought. I thought it was gonna be easy, but nope. It's gonna be pretty much... Oh, I could get the red coin from here. Okay, got it. Halfway there. Oh, uh, 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 ag. Oh my god, help. Ah, ag. Oh no, oh no. Okay, that was a close one. Now I'll switch back to hot. Hot. Okay, this is different from before. Um, I think we should go for the obvious one that's in front of me. It's ow. Oh hey look, there's dragons, like fire dragons. Okay, let's see how. Uh... Oh, ah, oh I could climb up here. Where's it take me to? Wait, what? Uh, whoa. Oh shoot. Ah. Okay, let's see what happens if I. Uh, I'm gonna take this away. Oh, oh, you. Okay, done. Ah. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Turns out I have to go all the way up to get the star. And I assume it's gonna be pretty cheesy. Oh, there's a hole. Hmm, wonder if that takes me to. Uh. Okay, I can assume I... Okay, I can't do that, um... Well... Oh, shoot! I said I was, it's gonna be tricky because there's icicles... Everywhere. I wonder if I can find some red coins around in the bottom. No, I can't find any. Oh, well. Uh... Oh, shoot. I, I took the... I accidentally jumped into the lava, silly me. Okay. Oh, dear. Alright, I am back from Pyro's Mountain. Let me tell you guys, that was a really confusing one. Because of the switches, it's like switch maze. And now, let's go to the final bonus roll that will make me think about my life a lot more. It's my typical type, and I, yeah. This is, this course will drive you mad, and I swear, I actually have to, like, leave pretty soon. So then, I don't know, uh, I don't know what anymore, uh, uh, oh no, no, what the heck, oh dear, oh, why, what's on my face, ow, no, there's something on my face, I swear, oh, my coin, what is that on my face? Uh Oh Oh um how do I time this? Uh Okay Uh Oh uh. Fair coin Oh I didn't get what Oh it moves Oh I missed it Um Okay but I s oh, it's my bunny tail. It's on my head. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen anyway. So actually, let me move my bunny tail because this is really glitching. So I assume in this you have to be super fast because oh, ow, oh, okay, it's like it goes all the way, and if you die, the platform goes back all the way. Oh no. Eh? Oh, and the bubbly shows like, oh god! Where it's supposed to go? Okay. Um. Oh, shoot. Yeah, this is just already making me angry. And it's just the beginning. And I haven't even. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Ugh. I can't speak. Okay, let's try this again. 
Uh, okay, platform, platform. Thank you. Oh no, okay. No! Uh, <laughs> oh no. Ow. I fell. I, just a simple task, I just fall off. I may not record the whole thing of Magma Hall, just assuming of how hard this is. Look at this madness right here. I cannot even express in words how hard this is. Ah! Oh no! Oh no, okay, I gotta go this way then. Oh shoot, okay. It's just a simple task like dodging these, it's actually harder than I thought because of- Oh god. And I'm going through this. I kind of didn't realize it was that hard, so I kept failing. Oh god. And like, I think it's the different speeds of the propeller, lava propellers, so. Uh, uh. Well, probably I was. I'm probably like lagging too hard. That can be the case sometimes. Uh, imagine losing connection while doing this. I could be a pretty big nightmare, also. Hey, people. Um, I had to go out of town. And I wasn't able to finish this, so that's why I um, yeah. So I had to take a break from this. Also, this is obviously a challenge. If you think Celestial's spell than hurt, then try this for size. I'm not saying like I'm not gonna force you. I mean. Like, oh my god, I'm already getting frustrated because of how hard this is, and like, just a simple jump actually actually does make me frustrated, because like, again, something simple like jumping over this, it's like, it's like easy, but then like with a moving platform, it's harder. I think it's just how my mind thinks, because when I first entered this, like, before I entered this, actually, my mind already thinks like, oh, it's already gonna be hard, and actually, yeah, it's already hard, so... I'm not sure, Paul, I don't know if I don't like myself or I'm, I'm not doing well in this. But I don't want you guys to judge on like my skills in this because yes, it is first time doing this. And I haven't really fully done it a lot of times. Oh my goodness, I suffered through this. Holy cow, I do not like this very well. Let's just get the 90th star. I technically have all the stars in here, but I kind of have to collect the point again from Pyro Cairo Mount because I, I'm, it's a glitch. I, yeah, it, it's a common bug. I'm not sure if this is, I'm the only person who's having this bug, but anyways, I'll go try to get a random place, see what happens, and then talk to Explode 1. Actually, never mind. All I had to do was literally just enter the world to get 90 monsters, and okay, that was kind of weird. I don't know what, what's causing the bug or anything. Okay, here we are! The unknown place! Oh wow! Oh my god, okay. Hey, here we go. Ready for nothing. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Here we go. I am Explode 1. The project lead for Adventure 4 to Point of Conflict as a reward for collecting absolutely ridiculous total of 91 stars. 296 red coins and most likely 16 symbols. I award you with this fourth wall shadowy message. Dot dot dot. I feel that many aspects of the game are in a way reflections of myself. Recall the four main bosses of this game Campale, Ellipse, Eagle, and Sialum. Sialum, sorry. Campale is inspired by precision, Ellipse is inspired by impulsive, Eagle is inspired by madness, and finally, Asylum is inspired by entitlement. If you look close at Ixel's name, it almost looks like 1x1x1x1 from many of my other games, Super Paper Roblox. Yeah, I know I know Super Paper Roblox. Both 1x1x1 next and Ixel are similar in many regards, though this might just be because I have a particular fondness for characters who are both threatening outright insane. Oh wow. Funny, <laughs> I knew Ixel like, was insane when I first met him. And I was like, oh, this guy is weird, okay. Speaking of similarities between this game and Super Paper Roblox, Stratosphere has quite a bit of common with Scriptless. Oh yeah, I remember Scriptless. Both of them were locked away for a very long period of time, and they both have noticeable amount of bright red 
around somewhere red around somewhere around their eyes. Their backs were uh, also pretty tragic in general. Oh, that's so cool! Whoa. If you're wondering why the editing of Celestial Battlefield is unusually short, this is because I felt no need to have an extra post-final boss scene, where every major point character has already said that Bill before unleashing attack of, on Celestial. Additionally, I find the way that the title appears in front of the Sky Emporium to be a bit emotional, which is like I left the way it was. Oh yeah, I did get emotional at when I first defeated Celesteel. I see the relating, so I think he was aiming for that. I might be wrong, I don't know. Dot 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 dot. Asylum is largely inspired. By the way, I've right and wrong with very people throughout my life. Though Asylum is welcoming and positive at times, there's also a side that is extremely selfish and manipulative. In fact, I find that developing video games can be can feel a bit like creating a reality where characters follow my narrative you choose to create. Oh, so that's why Silent was like saying, um, like, you're a part of my narrative somewhere? I don't remember like where. It was in like, during World 10 and Silent seeing like narrative stuff. So I, so I didn't realize it actually connected with Explode. And now I see those two relate to each other, and I think I see why Explorer will want to create a silent or something. I could be assuming stuff, I could be guessing, but Explorer or any other developer, please comment down below or talk to me if I'm getting these right or I'm getting these wrong, because I would like to know. I am a very curious creature. Don't have to, but it would be really appreciated. So. In the end, Silent was not only a highly manipulative abstraction, but also an overly arrogant artist. Yet, at the same time, they are nothing more than an artist, as they care for nothing more than to follow the narrative they have crafted. And though you are nothing, they more of a player of the game, you manage to get every single point to believe in you. This is what it means to be someone other that others can believe in. So this point of the game, like the the real the true context is to like is belief, I guess. Is that what Adventure Four Two is like trying to tell you? Is to believe in yourself and to believe in others, like you can do it, you can achieve it. Is that the main goal of the game? Like, it's not only me. I think you could kind of like relate to anyone else, like believe in yourself or something. Okay, where was I? Okay, this is what it means to for others to put faith in you, regardless of what Celestia has done in the greater scheme of things. You have become a manifestation of faith, and that's pretty neat if you ask me. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that fact, actually. Thanks for playing. Oh, that's it. Those are some pretty cool facts. I think... I don't know, it would be really cool if I knew like the name origins of each point, but... Um... I already know why Ixel, where Ixel's name came from. It was inspired by 1x1x1x. If you guys don't know who 1x1x1x is, is he's basically a really famous exploiter on Roblox, probably back in 2009 or something. And, um... Sure, I'm gonna stay in this room because it's quite cool. And that... Well! This is it. The final Adventure 4 video for this. I'm really sad actually. Like, I said in the main game, like when I finished the Celestial Battle, it would be the last video. But I'm really upset that I ended this so fast. Oh my god. It goes by so fast. Like, I thought I would take longer, but it went by quickly. Like, time flies away when you're having fun, kids. No, I'm not taking it really saying kids. But I really did enjoy this game. And it's nice to have this ahead to like sh tell you like the the cool fact about the yeah I would really love to know the back the origin of the names because it'd be really cool like I want to know what Nino means I want to know what all the way means or I want to know what I don't know um Chalair or Asanjai means like. Where did they get those names? 
I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching the series and it's been awesome and I really loved every single oboe but although I did struggle I really did love it and it was really well made and uh, I would love to put more Adventure 4 content on this channel but I don't know what now since I finished the game I don't know what I want to do like maybe Adventure 4 Q&A like you guys sending me questions of like how I found Adventure 4 or something or like my favorite character whatsoever I don't know I don't know what to do <laughs> to be honest but I do plan to do different content for this channel in the future. Go check it out definitely, it's really worth the gameplay and that stuff. I will recommend it to anyone who's like me, who loves action games, adventure with a storyline. I love those kind of games. But anyways, um, again, thank you guys for watching. I will link this game down below in the description box, so go check it out. And for the last time on Avenger 4 2 Points of Conflict, see you guys in the next video.